Today, we are going to take a look at Hippocratic AI. Now, this is particularly focused on the healthcare industry, and some of the stats regarding this AI are quite astonishing. So let's go ahead and take a look what exactly does it do. So right away, Hippocratic is outperforming GPT-4 when it comes to specific exams. So right now on their website, they state, out of 114 tests, Hippocratic has outperformed GPT-4 on 105 of those current tests. And if you guys are familiar with GPT-4's level, this is actually insane to see how much better this particular AI is compared to GPT-4. And you can see here, this showcases some of these exams. Now, I myself am not a professional or experts in the medical or healthcare field, so I cannot personally speak on the difficulty of these exams. However, what I can say is if you do know them, you definitely can check and confirm whether or not this is impressive. But just looking at the current comparison on the data, the numbers, clearly Hippocratic is doing significantly better than literally better than every other large language model that they have listed right here. And here you can see the particular test and the percentages comparison. So this is the first showcase of the power of this potential AI in the healthcare space. Now let's look at more details, what is going on with this AI. So here on their website, I do enjoy that they listed this because as many of you, if you've used ChatGPT, Google Bard, any of these AI softwares out there, some of them, if not all of them have potentially returned a response that is either completely inaccurate or part of it is semi-vague where some of it can be true while the other part is a little bit confusing and potentially could be false. And as of at least today, they're stating that the current LLMs are not safe for clinical diagnosis. And I'm sure there are other people out there who probably have typed in some symptoms on ChatGPT4, Google Bard, or whatever other AI software is out there. And depending on what they typed in, could have sent them a response that could have caused a lot of anxiety and stress, when in reality, that was never the case. And here they actually showcase that basically, Everything right now, it utilizes stuff from the internet. And as most people out there, especially as humans, some people write blog posts that they might have just heard someone say an answer versus others are actual medical experts. And hence, they could potentially write misleading blog posts. And then next thing you know it, the AI gets data from that blog post. And now they diagnose whoever is researching with a false inaccurate Thing. Now here they talk about this bedside manners matter and they have this little chart with the percentages and it's quite interesting because it talks about empathy, you can see care and compassion, makes the patient feel at ease and also helps patient take control. So in here it makes it look like it's supposedly feeling more human-like and doesn't put the patient at any sort of stress that they already have already. And according to these stats, Hippocratic AI is doing significantly better than the previous competition, which you even have GPT-4 in here. Now, in terms of these particular results, I would love to see some sort of deep dive showcasing the exact ways that it compares and competes with the other large language models. But from just a general graph, this is the percentages you can see right now. And some fun facts. This isn't just some random company that I just found online. They have actually raised $50 million. So that means one, they have quite a decent chunk to particularly focus in their industry and scale it up and improve their technology. And two, this puts the competition as well for some other major players in the healthcare space to keep their eyes on because there are other healthcare AIs out there currently right now. And there's one I actually remember referencing back in the past that could potentially combine with this company, compete with them, who knows. Either way, better healthcare in the AI space, making it lives easier, I think is a good thing. So speaking of competitors, MedPalm2, this was Google's 
large language model that they actually have been working on and this is showcasing the updated versions and you can see basically it is at least utilizing the palm 2 version now it's supposedly providing more accurate and safe answers to medical questions and you can see in terms of comparison i noticed that they didn't particularly list med palm 2 on the hippocratic ai however I'd love to see a comparison side by side to see some of the similarities and differences with Google AI compared to this Hippocratic AI. Now, I'm a data guy. Let's take a look at some more numbers. Here, again, vast majority of people in the AI space as well aware of GPT-4. And you can see here in the blue is clearly means that they beat them. And it just completely wipes the floor with almost all of these other large language models. Now it says commercial, and I don't know exactly which one they're comparing it to, but I would love to see which ones those are. Now here's really interesting. It shows different particular categories in the healthcare space, such as pharmacist, dentist, nurse, physician, medical coder, equity, you name it. And let's just take a look right now at these numbers, because I think the data for this is really, really interesting. So just from a quick glance, it looks like Hippocratic has beaten ChatGPT4 on literally every single category. If we just go here, line by line, the only one that it was the closest to was health equity with a little over uh, 2% per better than GPT4. But the rest, most of these are significantly higher. And you can see here, these are the actual improvements with the average, it seems like anywhere from nine to 10 with some in between much less. And then comparing to these other LLMs, it's just completely better. So here we can see 83.3% versus the rest of the competition. And surprisingly, I'm, I'm curious to see which one this was, but this second one apparently just did not compete at all. And obviously GPT-4 is not a healthcare focused AI, but I'm still impressed that it managed to do somewhat better than these previous LLMs right here. Obviously it's not as good as Hippocratic according to their data, but still impressive since it's an overall generalization of AI and it's not a particular thing just for healthcare. And here you can see a better visual with the green showcasing the significant improvements and again, for every single option, it is significantly better. And even on standard benchmarks, they have listed here. So MedQA, MedMCQA, and PubMed. You can see the stats right now. And what's interesting though, is for these two, it's better for GPT-4. However, GPT-4 seems to be better in this particular PubMed with a minus 5.7. Now, obviously, being a healthcare focused AI, they could definitely improve upon that. But I think just right off the bat, that's quite impressive to see the levels GPT-4 is and comparing to a literal focused healthcare only AI. Now here where it showcases the stats, right? So empathy, compassion, feel at ease. And let's just compare this with GPT-4 right now the increase everything looks positive here and this particular one is 10 percent better so even the fact that it's just percentage better i don't even know how you would even feel the difference especially for something like empathy or compassion if you were to ask me to act out in terms of showing the emotion or doing any sort of emotional thing and tell me to do it 10 percent better 20 percent better I don't even know what that even means, right? So for example, tell someone to make them feel at ease. Let's say something crazy happened and you go and try to comfort somebody and you say, hey, can you do this 28.3 more than previous, however you did it? It's something at least in terms of thinking of the process doesn't make sense, but I'm sure when they calculate this actual data, I would love to see the behind the scenes on how they actually measure and then they compare this to something for example here so this is clearly 28.3 percent so again that's still quite a shockingly high increase but again for these particular stats right here i think this is something that i'm not 100 percent 
fully understanding how they measure this stuff. But if someone did want to share in the comments some more details regarding this, that would be a fantastic to see. Now here they do list the bedside manners and essentially how they measure in terms of at least the way they look at it. So for example, does the doctor make an effort to understand and share the feelings of the patients? And then compassion, you can see number three, number four, number five. I'm not gonna read through every single detail, but you can see this sort of gives a definition exactly how they are looking at this. And again, we can see Hippocratic so far has done better for most of the stats compared to GPT-4. Now here, I'll leave it off with this amazing statistical measure which they have right here and basically this showcases hippocratic ai versus gpt4 on physician and physician specialty exams and basically you can see the list the names of these exams here and basically hippocratic is significantly better for a majority of these compared to gpt4 with only this last one right here and then these last four, it seems like they weren't too much different compared to GPT-4's numbers. But for the rest of them, it looks like they're doing significantly better in terms of the improvement. And then you can see here, a better visual. And basically, Hippocratic is significantly better for a majority of these compared to GPT-4. So this was a quick overview on Hippocratic AI and the healthcare space. Do share your thoughts. What do you think about this? And if you have additional details regarding this company, definitely share them below. But aside from that, if you want to see the latest updates in the AI space, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe.